as identical twin photographers during the golden age of magazines has been highlighted by my next guest. Francis and Catherine McLaughlin were raised in Wallingford and went to Lyman High School here. In the 1930s, they were ahead of their time, and you're going to learn all about them. My guest is Carol Kino, author of her book, Double Click, and here it is. Carol, welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. Why were they so famous? Well, obviously they were identical <laughs> twins. And who yes. did they photograph over the years? Because they were married uh, to photographers yeah. too, so their social yeah. circles were something. Franny, who was the Condé Nast one, photographed Shirley Temple. Um, she photographed a Cole Porter. She photographed a, um, the Bushes, Bush Sr. and his young family. It's a picture that ran with his obituary. And the other twin eventually became a photographer of children. So if you're a baby boomer, there are like a million ads that I certainly recognized that she had taken that had ran in magazines when I was growing up. All right, um, they were they were identical twins and they started yeah. out with the Brownie camera when they were kids. Yes. Um, <laughs> what set them apart, even though they were oh, identical? Yes. Oh, God. They had really different personalities, I think. So Fuffy, who was the one who um, went on to be a photographer of children, was much more, um, I guess, uh, out outgoing in a way, you know, and wanted, um, not wanted attention, but flowered under attention. And Franny, who was the one who worked for Condé Nast for Vogue and Glamour, um, was much more self-contained and um, didn't need that outward attention from people. So, but their work was very similar in many ways. Um, they both really loved doing urban photography and working on the street and action photography, which would, which was really um, part of the period in the 1940s. There was a lot of, um, was characterized by um, women doing very active things because it was during the war. So both of them took photos of women running, jumping, leaping, flying planes. You know, that was really characteristic of the period, I and would say. And Carol, after finishing this book, mm -hmm. digging deep, into their lives. Mm -hmm. What did mm -hmm. you learn? So these twins were really unusual in that they really wanted to continue with their careers and they did manage to do it successfully in completely different ways. So it, it was just fascinating what I learned about society and American society in particular. Trailblazers and I love it. Carol, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on. We really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for having me. You I really appreciate that. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to know more about Double Click, go to WTNH.com or the News 8 app. So it all started with what? This, their photography. Uh, a camera? Right, with a brownie. I thought you were going to say Oh, a little brownie, yeah. sure. Yeah. So at 10 years old, they picked up the brownie in Wallingford, Connecticut, and started taking pictures all over the place. Then they moved to New York for their college, and the rest is history. And they did it, as, as she alluded to, uh, before the war, women were doing all kinds of stuff. And then when the boys came home, the women went back into the kitchen, so to speak. Mm. So they were in the heyday, and they married photographers, too. So they were quite... Famous. Quite something. I love looking at the pictures too of the difference of magazines now and then and how women were styled. And now magazines don't exist for the most part. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. We'll be back with more here in just a minute.